In this video I'm going to discuss about Shampoo Burnin Studio 18 which is the newest version of Burnin Studio from a shampoo. Um, I think the first time I ever heard of a shampoo as a company was about their Burnin Studio which was maybe about 15, 16 years ago. Um, so I might be wrong but I think it's the first program they ever brought out and of course over the years things have changed um, and uh, with time everything has to has to move with that and new technologies etc anyway so what I'm going to do on here is give an overview um, of it as usual with any shampoo program it's very user friendly it has great UX design um, and very intuitive and probably a lot of web designers could uh, learn from the way they do things anyway the main things is, I mean it's a very very simple program really um, what you have up the top here is just your basics um, your settings of where you would put uh, things like auto save where you would put your um, files and that if that's what you would be doing um, other things like skin you can change that uh, help languages etc and information anyway the main thing is down on this left panel here which here is uh, burn data which is you know burning your files or whatever you, you want to do with that um, the next one is audio and music which is you can create an audio CD create mp3s copy music files from a disc create audio media for a car hi-fi create mp3 stick and rip audio CD the other thing is movie slideshow creating uh, your movie DVDs um, <coughs> your blu-ray discs even on this one um, yeah and super video CD all right okay and the next one is cover inlays I'm not going into that uh, but this is a, a great thing I've used this on a different uh, uh, Burning Studio where you can actually use your own album covers and things like that so you can actually put what you know if you wanted a uh, certain type of music you can just put your own album cover on the CD the other one is copy disc and this next one is uh, an interesting one as well it's called uh, disc image which is uh, for those that don't know about burning images or creating images and there is browse image well what this is is if you wanted to burn an image for example here and if you went in uh, it says select the disk image you would like to burn uh, the following file formats are supported ISO Q slash bin and a ash disk okay so what for example an ISO is if we I've just got a USB stick in here and this USB stick is uh, one of uh, Linux, and I think it's got Linux Mint on. I know I've got, I've got, I use you Linux Mint, Ubuntu, and Linux Lite sometimes. But this, where where I is, is if you wanted to, if I if you just do a search into that, um, here's your ISO uh, thing. So what basically it is, is it takes an image of a operating system, and you can burn that. But I would imagine uh that might take a while i'm not sure so i'm not going to do that one but that's a very interesting and i would definitely use that i haven't yet but i would definitely use that um if we go back the uh, backups you can back up back your files up or you can restore files um back up external devices as well which which maybe uh i know i've got uh external hard drives and stuff like that uh, advanced features, um, arrays, rewritable disks, um, analyze mediums, etc., etc. Um, that's not something I would use personally, but uh, you know that everybody has uh, different needs. Really, service, shampoo, software, deals, and other things as well. But I'm just going to give uh, an example of what this can do um, and how easy really it is to to uh, use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, an audio disc, uh, audio CD, and this is what uh, you come up with here at the bottom. Here you've got um, back and next. Um, 
and I think it's 80 minutes you have of that. Anyway, up here you have your plus where it says add files. Okay, so what I'm going to go into here is uh, my music. Um, do, 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 my music stuff. Right, okay. And I've got this one here and I'm going to use. Okay, so what you do is you just do that. Just go over there and put them all in. Add. Okay. And again, if you wanted to add some more as well, but I don't on that. So this is basically, um, I've got a CD in, and hopefully that reads that. And this is basically Van Halen. Uh, so anyway, you just click Next. Okay. And the inserted CDR is okay. So that's fine. So that's, uh, that's obviously, it's looked for it and it's found it. So what I do is you just write CD. Okay. So you just click on that and basically um, you wait until it's finished. Okay. Okay, so that's taken uh, four minutes to do that. So you get the status me uh, messages from 1447 when I've done this to 52. So four and a half minutes maybe. Uh, so the ready, uh, it says ready audio CD recorded successfully. It's actually spat this out of my laptop. So... It's now ready to use on a uh, hi-fi or my stereo system. Um, so I'll just close that. And then I'll go back. Um, okay. And back again. There's no CD in the drive, obviously not, because I've taken it out. And there again. I'll just go to this again. And it's got um, create audio media for car hi-fi. We actually, um, I've done a, a few. I've had a new batch of... Um, CDs uh, and I've tried them all the, all the ones that I just created with audio CDs have actually played okay in the uh, car in fact they've played very well in the car so um, I'm not sure if what that means by a car hi-fi whether mine's just a normal stereo system in the car it's not nothing fancy so I'm not really sure if that means that uh, there's a specialized type of thing for for car hi-fis whether you know you get some of these uh, cars with like sort of amplifiers and all the rest of it everywhere even in the boat but uh, i don't know if that's something different but it plays fine in uh, i would imagine most people's cars uh so yeah so basically that's um that's it in a nutshell uh it as i say it's it's very simple to use um and you know any questions uh, just get back so again thanks for watching and thanks for listening